people are always going to try to find a scapegoat. They're going to try to find the, the poster boy for everything they feel that, that is wrong or alienates or is the problem or they perceive is the problem with the world, whether it be music, film, TV, whatever. Everybody wants to point fingers and go, that's bad or this is wrong. All these politicians that are out to get us, you know, or that were out to get us at the time, you know, that they were thinking this, I'm thinking to myself, you know, how is it that these kids are so normal and you think that they're going to become so fucked up? No, I think what it is is you already think they're fucked up, but you just don't want to say it because one day down the line, these kids might be voting for you. Representatives in the U.S. government were even like, have quoted their band as like being one of the reasons why, you know, certain laws have to be implemented. Bob Dole came out and was when he was trying to run for president and he was saying about, oh, we got to fix America and all, you know, all these things are harming our children. He claimed that uh, Cannibal Corpse was the most hated band in America. You gotta understand, Bob Dole ain't never even listened to a record. So when you got these politicians naming groups, there's an aide somewhere that's telling them to name these groups. You ask them to say a, a line or a title of a song, they don't know. It's just people feeding them stuff, saying, oh, Natural Born Killers, that's a good one, and Two Live Crew, that's a good one, and what's this? Oh, Cannibal Corpse, look at this, it's disgusting. It was interesting that they thought we were so dangerous and so uh, important that it warranted uh, taking some time uh, away from uh, prior real issues at that point in time to talk about some death metal band. They get this phone call, like, yeah, they're, they're setting up, like, they're going to have Chris Barnes on the nightly news with Tom Brokaw talking about all this censorship stuff. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. They sent a camera crew over to my apartment, and we sat outside, did a little interview where I said, you know, I thought it was basically suicide for a candidate running for president of the United States to all of a sudden attack freedom of uh, expression and freedom of speech. It's always interesting when they end up putting us on TV, you know, Chris Barnes on, on, on Tom Brokaw, that had to be incredible. I wish I could have seen it. I mean, I actually was on uh, Oprah back in the days with Jello Biafra. So it's always a treat when you get to see musicians defend their music. And that made them more popular. People wanted to know, who are they? Jack told me that that was like one of the best things for selling records that ever happened to them. Bad press for us, but as Gene Simmons says, any press, is good press. Yeah, we were thanking it. We were like, great. Yeah, talk about Shit it. Shit press, talk young press, me. death metal, and this kind of stuff. We're like, yeah, exactly. keep talking about it. What they did do was sell us more records and bring more fans into Cannibal Corpse. So thank you, Bob Dole. We appreciate all your hard work and efforts to help us sell some more records. Thank you, Bob Dole. <laughs> America was one thing, but you know, they, they were banned in, the first three records were banned in Germany, uh, Australia, New Zealand, you know, a lot of a lot of countries, Korea, a lot of places all over the world, uh, those first three records were banned because of the lyrics. We had a record label that we licensed the record, our Cannibal Corpse records to in South Korea. You have to go before the government, I guess, to show them the lyrics. They did a best of. So it was the only place and the only time we've ever done a best of Cannibal Corpse. So we took the best tracks off the first five records or whatever and uh, made a best of. And... Uh, they kind of fudged the lyrics a little bit. And then, eventually somebody found out what they were really about. Our representative at the label, our label manager, got arrested and thrown in jail for, you know, having released this record. And we all felt really horrible that, you know, something like that, censorship would put somebody in jail. It's kind of a scary thing. We had no way to help her, really. You know, we don't know, we didn't know how to get to her to help her. And, you know, we asked if there was anything that we could do, and they were just like, no, just, you gotta, you know, stay out of it, and we'll deal with it, so, like, all right. But we didn't do any more, you know, Cannibal Corpse records in South Korea after that. If you're in New Zealand, you can't buy a Cannibal Corpse record, you're just, I'm sure you can buy it somehow, or get it some way. So we can't sell anything in New Zealand. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't really know what happened to that, because we actually wanted one of them playing. Guarantee you, we signed some CDs in New Zealand, you know, when we were there. So that's just another, you know, in this day and age for anything to be censored. Okay, you can't buy them in New Zealand. Well, it, with the internet now, you know, you go online and you buy it and you get it sent to you. So you can't go to your record store because they don't have it. Well, you're going to go online and buy it from Europe or buy it from America, or you're just downloading stuff off the internet anyways, you know. So it's kind of ridiculous. Everybody yell for me.
first set of tours with them was in like 96, 97. We did like four tours with them. And when we did the two European runs, especially in Germany, they had a lot of problems with uh, censorship over there. Somebody, the equivalent of the German PMRC, had a real problem with Cannibal Corpse. One woman, one like mom person, you know, started a campaign against Cannibal Corpse. I think a student came to school one day wearing a Cannibal Corpse t-shirt, and it was a disgusting t-shirt, and she was appalled by the whole thing. In Germany, they have laws against violence. I mean, there's a huge book in Germany where there's movies, books, CDs, there's thousands of titles that are either not allowed to be sold or viewed in Germany, or they have to have significant uh, edits, like in the movies and every, books and everything. It's crazy. We had to pull those records from the shelves and from all the retailers. They were threatening the people that were in our office over there that, you know, if, uh, if you know, they find these things, they could, you know, put them in jail. All their lyrics had to be reviewed by the government, and the government actually banned particular songs based on the violent nature of the lyrics from being played in Germany. They apparently would go through and try to tell them what they could and couldn't play, which is hilarious. These people thought they were doing good for the children by keeping us away from them, but they weren't. The kids know the difference. All right, well, you know we can't play any of the old songs. You know that they give us trouble for that. Well, we can play this song from the Vile album. And since we can't play these old songs because they're too violent, this song is about stabbing a bunch of fucking people to death. So if they want that violence, there you go. We couldn't play Hammer Smash's face, but we were allowed to play Fucked With A Knife. Give me a fucking break, you know? That's just so stupid. If they played any one of those songs live and somebody was there and heard it and could document it, they, they could be thrown in jail. The band could be thrown in jail. They actually had people watching to they come they out to play the show. certain songs, making sure they didn't play certain songs. I think they were just trying to, like, instill some fear in us or something. Meanwhile, they didn't even know anything about the band because, like, the band was, like, playing and, like, one of the people was, like, up there and they didn't even know it was them. So they yeah. obviously didn't do their homework. They were all sitting around, the German police are sitting around. It's like, is this off the, is this, is this, is this off the first album? Stop. <laughs> oh my God, and the other guy's like, no, 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 no. It's off of uh, the bleeding. All right, calm down. <laughs> I don't know how they would have discerned which song was which unless they were big Cannibal Corpse fans, and how could they be, because those songs were never released there. They're like, all we hear is brrr. Of course that's all they're gonna hear, you know? It's like, they don't know what's, you know. <laughs> You know, it was funny, I mean, it, was, it was absurd. If the authorities were bringing in import versions of them, then they were breaking their own laws. These people don't have a clue. They, they were just dead. You know, they, they have just way too much time on their hands, these people, you know what I'm saying? You must be hardcore if, if something like that happens to you. If you haven't been banned, I guess you're pussy. I don't know how it is now for them in Germany, but uh, back then it was like very strange. Last tour, the band got lifted. We just started doing those songs again after I rejoined. And it was great because those songs are important. Those, those are a lot of the songs that older fans want to hear. All these bands and things were just, they were hurting kids who just wanted to go out and have a good time and see the songs they wanted to see or see their favorite band play. I mean, we love the horror. You know, we love the, the violent type lyrics. You know, we don't love real life violence. We don't want to see people get hurt. A good bit of our songs are about zombies, so there, that tells you. That that's the horror movie aspect of it. Most of the stuff is um, fantasy, you know, it's not really going to happen. A bunch of zombies tearing people up, but you never know. Someday it might happen. The only problem they can really have is the fact that they feel somebody is going to take this stuff and try to activate it or reenact some of this madness that goes on in these records. If people want to use cannibal corpse lyrics is an excuse to go do something bad or uh, do something crazy that's they have issues themselves I believe there's instable people unstable people and there's stable people and I believe that humans have two sides of the brain one side that says maybe I should jump off that cliff and the other one that says if you do you're gonna kill yourself one side that says I could pull my car into oncoming traffic and the other one says no one side that looks at this a, a fork and says, I could stick this shit in my eye. It was, has, that's, no, that's gonna hurt, it's dumbass. Now, if you don't have this side of your brain, you don't need to keep cannibal corpse records out of their hands, you need to keep dinner forks out of their hands.